Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Shannon and I'm blogging about simple solutions for six figure debt. Today, I am sharing with you guys the financial plan that has helped us go from totally broke to making some serious progress on our debt. In fact, we've been able to pay off over $10,000 in just the past six weeks. As we are budgeting, working together, and we know where every dollar is going every month. The reason for that is we are working Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Now, I don't know why, but I just assume everyone's heard of this financial plan. And I grew up kind of at least knowing who Dave Ramsey was, but I was talking to one of my friends the other day on the phone that lives in the Midwest, and she said she hadn't heard of Dave Ramsey except for from me. So I thought to myself, well, there's probably some people that don't know about Dave Ramsey and his seven baby steps to financial peace. The reason that it works is very simple because you are learning to budget, telling every dollar where to go, you're learning to live on less than you make so you have extra income to throw at either debt or saving or whatever baby step that you're on. And the biggest reason that it works is that it breaks personal finance down. I remember like whenever I graduated from medical school, I knew that there were probably a lot of things that we should be doing with money, but I didn't really have any idea where to start and I thought that Financial planning just wasn't for me yet because I was in residency and just getting my career going and so I didn't really care I just kind of pushed it off to the side and didn't start really diving in until it was almost too late and we were like seriously struggling so if you're looking for some information on how to get started with personal finance and how to succeed with your money then these Dave Ramsey seven baby steps to financial peace will give you a jumping off point a little bit of information to get started so you can be successful at personal finance and not be like me so <laughs> let's get started baby step one is to save a thousand dollars now that might seem like no big deal to some of you. Some people may have never had $1,000 saved in their bank account in their life. And actually, about 70 to 80% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, which means that most of you watching probably don't have a little starter emergency fund set aside, and you're turning to a credit card whenever something simple like a car battery or like a unplanned trip to the doctor's office comes up you're reaching for a credit card instead of reaching into your little starter emergency fund to cover those expenses. This emergency fund obviously is not gonna be enough to go your whole life with. This is just right now to get you started, to teach you how to save money, and to show yourself and to prove to yourself that you can save money. Once you've saved that $1,000, it's time to start your debt snowball. So baby step two is to pay off all consumer debt, not your mortgage. So all other debt though, student loans, everything. It's all going. <laughs> the easiest way or most motivating way to do that is the debt snowball method, which basically you're gonna list all of your debts from smallest to largest, and you're gonna work on that smallest debt. Forget about interest rates. You're gonna attack the smallest debt because it's so super motivating to see it go. Once that one's gone, you move to the next one and whatever minimum payment you were paying on that first debt rolls into the next one. Now you have a bigger snowball to attack the next debt. As you move up to bigger debts, your snowball's getting bigger and, and it becomes more motivating and more exciting to see yourself get rid of debt. People that do this plan finish it in an average of about two to three years when they are just totally intense. People probably get hung up in baby step two the longest because it's so hard and it's so against our culture. Um, you know, talking about getting rid of all payments, car payments, everything, all debt. It's, it's totally weird, which Dave Ramsey always talks about weird people. So we're very proud to be trying to be super weird people and getting all our debt paid off. But it's going to be a long road for us. We have a lot of debt. The alternative is not somewhere we want to be. Once you have all of your debt paid off, you're going to take that $1,000 emergency fund and you're going to bump it up to three to six months of expenses, not of income that you make, just your basic expenses that you can run your household on in case you lost a job or 
um, had a huge medical emergency or something where you need to cover three to six months of expenses. So bump that starter emergency fund up. Now, after you have your fully funded three to six month emergency fund, some people will pause here and do what, what some people call baby step 3B, and they will save for a down payment for a house. That's what we plan to do. We've never bought a house yet, and we really are excited to do that step, but we wanna be debt free, and we wanna have emergency fund and then save a um, 10 to 20% down payment so that we can move into a house that's a blessing and not a curse. Because when you move into a house and you have a ton of debt, you're just inviting chaos and Murphy to come cause a lot of stress from home ownership instead of your house being a total blessing. We're moving along and that brings us to baby step four, five, and six, which are commonly done simultaneously. So baby step four is to be putting away 15% of your gross income to retirement. So I'm definitely not an investment professional type person at all. I have a lot to learn about that. I'm more of a I will help you get out of debt and motivate you to get out of debt kind of girl. But once I get to that step, I will definitely be reaching out for help from an investment advisor, make sure that we're putting 15% of our income into retirement accounts. Anything above that, we will be saving for college. We have three kids, so college is definitely gonna be happening. And then baby step six is anything extra that you have goes to the house. There have been several studies about millionaires and most people that have a million dollar net worth have a paid for house and pay it off anywhere between seven and 10 years. And so um, Dave Ramsey's financial plan really encourages getting that house paid off because then you're eliminating risk. You have a paid for house, you have no debt, and you're just saving and being super generous after that. It should be noted that in baby steps four, five, and six, you're not crazy, crazy gazelle intense like you were in baby step two and three when you're running for your dear life trying to pay off debt and get that emergency fund saved up. So this is when you take a vacation, you buy furniture, and you just kind of enjoy your life, but you're also still being super intentional with your money so you're not going back into debt or doing crazy things. Baby step number seven is probably the most exciting and that is when you're just building wealth so you can just give generously. In baby step seven, there's really three things you should be doing with your money. You should be giving it, saving it, and spending it. So take fun vacations with your family, save, invest, and give generously. Don't forget the last one for sure. I hope you guys found this really helpful. If you've been looking at Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps, hopefully I was able to explain it in a really clear way. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I would love to answer them. I am a total personal finance nerd since this whole getting out of debt extravaganza that we've been doing. And you can check out my blog where I'm always offering budgeting and other really fun advice um, over at thefreckledfootdoc.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and I will see you guys next week.